One of the cancers that you talk about in the Dog Cancer Survival Guide are soft tissue sarcomas. Uh, Dr. Dresser, I'll throw this question out to you first. If your dog has soft, soft tissue sarcoma, what are you likely looking at? What are the signs and symptoms? Well, soft tissue sarcoma, as the name suggests, grows out of soft tissue or connective tissue. Now, that's about the only unifying thing that we can say about these, these tumors. And the reason is because they can show up all over the place. They can show up practically in any organ that has soft tissue around it or connective tissue around it. They are firm. Uh, that is uh, a pretty unifying uh, a feature of them. Uh, and they're, uh, they, they do expand into the neighboring area. Um, so if one were to see a soft tissue a tumor, a soft tissue sarcoma on the outside of a dog's body that were visible to the naked eye, uh, it would look like uh, a bump and, and in general a quite firm bump. And if you were to move it around with your fingertips you would notice that it's pretty well embedded in the surrounding neighboring tissue. It's not going to be one that's going to have a little stalk underneath it or it can be moved around quite easily. They're almost always planting down roots into the neighboring tissue. And Dr. Ettinger, your thoughts on this type of cancer? When I think about the soft tissue sarcomas of the skin and the subcutaneous tissues, the one unifying theme that I think about is that in general they're locally aggressive or extensive, but they have a low metastatic rate, which is a good thing. So in general, about only 10 to 15 percent of the low and intermediate grade sarcomas will spread internally in the body, which really means your local um, surgery is going to be your best chance for you know good control of these cancers. Some dogs depending on the location may need radiation after surgery but if the one thing that you remember is that you want to know what this mass is before your veterinarian goes and cuts it out. So planning, planning, planning. It's really good to have either a pre-surgical aspirate which lets you know it's a sarcoma or a pre-surgical biopsy so that surgeon will go in and do as wide a surgery the first time because your best chance at good long-term control for these cancers is if your first surgery is wide and aggressive and you don't need to go back in and do a scar revision. So planning, planning, planning. Make sure your veterinarian finds out what it is before the first surgery. Dr. Dressler, your thoughts about treatment options for these type of sarcomas? Well, in the best case scenario, the wide excision that Dr. Ettinger was talking about may yield a cure. And that's really what we're going to be hoping for. Now, it may not always happen. Uh, we may not be able to achieve a cure. And in those cases, then we have to switch to overall uh, strategies to address the physiology in our dog's bodies. And that's uh, accomplished by paying attention to the different areas of cancer care. Uh, in addition to the dietary changes uh, which can help a dog with cancer, in addition to immune stimulants, uh, in addition to uh, those supplements that turn on cancer cell suicide, uh, which are called apotogens, those are derived from plants. Uh, and of course, we always want to make sure that we have our dog's pain controlled and uh, that we're uh, taking steps to deliberately improve life quality so that we can maintain a, a nice, good quality life uh, for as long as possible. Lots of information in the book if your dog has a Can soft I tissue add sarcoma. One more thing? Please do, I'm Dr. Really, Edger. Because I, in kind of thinking about what I just said, I think it's important to realize that some of these tumors are not, your veterinarian's not going to be able to get wide margins because of the location. They're going to be down on the legs. Mm -hmm. And no matter how fabulous your veterinarian is, there isn't just enough skin and tissue around it. So I don't want you to be frustrated if you get back that biopsy report that says the margins are not clean. There are lots of good options that you can do after surgery, even if it's in a part of the body where there, you're not able to get a scar revision done. Radiation can pre prevent recurrence. Low dose oral chemotherapy, metronomic chemotherapy has been recently shown to delay recurrence. So there's a lot of good options again. So don't get too frustrated, you know, again, if it's in a location of the body where you can't get clean wide margins. They're still very treatable cancers. Very true. I like the word that you guys, uh, the Dr. Dressler said, you said the word cure as a possibility, and you don't often talk about that when it comes to dog cancer. So that's, uh, that's reassuring. A lot more information in the book. Uh, Dr. Dressler in Hawaii, Dr. Ettinger in New York, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks so much. Thank you.